Prince George's County was supposed to be different. This was a place where black people could move without worrying about being under the boot, under the lash, under the thumb of the oppressive white man. This is where black people were going to move and live together and show the white man they could do all this stuff and and, and make all this progress without white people interfering with them. That's Prince George's County. That, that, That was then. This is now. One in three African-American men, if the trends that we see today continue, will spend some time in jail or prison. That is absolutely unacceptable. There is no justification for it. There is no excuse for it. And I have been going around speaking out that an African-American young man is more likely to be arrested, charged, convicted, and incarcerated for doing exactly the same thing as a white man who is not. So Prince George's County is a suburb of Washington, D.C. Many of the people live who live in Prince George are government workers. Not many people talk about this, but in the federal government, black people are overrepresented. As a matter of fact, places like the post office That's like 18 to 20 percent of the people who work at the post office are black. So anyway, these two Hispanic guys get out of their car. It looked like they were joking to me. There were some words exchanged. One guy took a friendly jab at him, joking with him. Well, I guess I guess the joke wasn't very funny. Two guys beat the hell out of those two guys. One guy, as you can see from the article there, broke all the bones in his face. He'll never be the same. He has permanent damage. So even in Prince George's County, especially in Prince George's County, if you're going to a convenience store, some black guy starts talking to you for reasons you don't know. Don't be overly familiar with them, because if you are, you're just going to make a lot of black kids angry. <laughs> 